any sort of a grounding on what it's really worth. 48% of it's short. Sarah, tell me who would stay short given that inflation. <laughs> After this What's week? About to go I don't this? know. No, and then. It's uh, up like 63% this week. We heard Leslie Picker talk about that. I'm sorry. Uh, Ryan Cohn was buying out of the money calls. Now, if you want to trap uh, shorts, what you do is you go in and do exactly that. How do you hedge? If you're short those calls, how do you how do you hedge that? You go by common now, you're really caught. So it's a brilliant strategy. It's clear this is well orchestrated. If you check the Wall Street bets, um, they okay, so they're not actually a fan of mine, but there are a lot of people who are not fans of mine. It doesn't bother me. But they are really trying to get They're it not going. a fan of fundamental analysis. Well, I think they're a fan of breaking whoever is short. And Look, I, I look. I've always Why said. Why has this company issued more stock? Like, I, this be a I say that they should put out twenty. That they should, should issue twenty million shares. It would certainly make it so that their credit line, I'd feel better about it. Maybe give some time to sell, uh, bye bye baby, uh, which was a plan that was on. Remember, they did this Excellent very failed store. strategy. The, look, the way you want to look at this is look at JC. It's JC Penney. They tried to do a major change. The public didn't eat it, but they had to do it because the thing was just falling, falling, falling. Uh, while, while at the same time they're buying back a ton of stock, and uh, that was very uh, ill-advised. So now uh, they should call a board meeting and issue stock, which would then, of course, unfortunately sate the short squeeze. And the, the Wall Street bets people, of course, would blame me as if she's my puppet. Not true, although I like to shop there. It's what GameStop did. It's what AMC did. It certainly took advantage of the, the situation. The fact that we are seeing the meme return. The fact that Bed Bath & Beyond is up more than 60% over well, a week. Does, does that signal something about, about this market? Is it getting frothy okay, so again, people wanted, sentiment wise? People want to reach that conclusion. My problem with that conclusion is, is that these people pick a stock. They picked this one before uh, and they operate on it and we can't draw any conclusion about them because they're genuine outliers in the system. I don't think it's speculative. I do think that what you did see in the last few weeks are a lot of these uh, not great companies that came public putting in a nice round bottom. And that I see constantly. Whether you look at a Toast, uh, Allbirds, uh, uh, Warby Parker, and these are companies that were brand names that came public, but that's all they really were. they're cutting were. costs now exactly. with the slowdown. Threat exactly. up today also, also they're with cutting a cost. They recognize that they can't spend endlessly and then do secondaries. You got that dead right. So you're saying that's a sign that the market is, that, that good things are happening. It's yes, more rational, well, we don't want everyone to go clear. Right. No, again, everything's not just going up. We have this bizarre, and I promise not to interrupt you again. No. That was my bad. We have this bizarre thing where do we want bad news? Do we want what happened with Best Buy last week in layoffs? Do we want Bed Bath to be in trouble, so to speak? And the answer is what you're talking about during the break. We want a soft landing, but we also have the best employment in 40 years. So theoretically, if you lose your job, you're going to get another job. I like to know where the 100,000 people who left Amazon, did they get jobs? It's not hard to get a job in this country. Three and a half percent unemployment, right? right? I mean, remember, we're hiring 80,000 accounts. It takes a year and a half above college to be able to get an account. We are causing, the federal government is causing a lot of the, what I regard as being the incredible employment picture. Industrial production just coming in, double, double. expectations. And, and and your question was, is it too hot or is it soft landing? And I think that's something that the Fed is struggling to figure out. Believe me, Jay Powell they right now. this line between right. inflation and growth. Exactly. And what we want, you and I, as people, obviously we want people to get jobs, keep good jobs, not have to pay high taxes, and uh, go and have lower prices at the pump, lower prices in, at Walmart. Yes. And, and that is a soft landing. Right. Provided that we also get housing down and rents are the sticking point. Rents haven't come down and Food. autos because of Food. chips. Well, we hope that Walmart busts that and, or a treehouse doing. And, and wages, too. A lot of people think. Well, I we think want that, people to have high wages, but that has put this sort of wage price spiral we need, story into effect. Dutch bros. Yes. In a seminal moment on Mad Money said that the real issue with wages is job hop. Job hop. Yeah. yeah. People just have the power. Right. But people. Power to the people. Power to the workers. What do you think of that? I you think know? it's going to be tough for Apple to bring back uh, okay, corporate. Okay, so you know.